Welcome back. Uh, as you can see behind me, I'm going to be doing some upholstery for the boat. Uh, I've washed all the uh, covers uh, from the boat. Now, they're not all here. This is just the ones from the V-Birth. But these have been washed. I actually washed them twice. And I'm looking at the foam. I believe the foam is all original. So I'm pricing up some uh, large pieces of foam. I'll cut them myself. And I may redo all this. Uh, probably uh, I'll use a, a firmer uh, foam. I'm looking at maybe either 33 pounds or 44 pounds. I think that's pounds per square foot density or I forget. I don't know the number. But anyway, so I'll be looking at that. And I think by the time I buy all the foam, I'm thinking it's going to be at least $200, maybe $300 to to use all new foam. I was also thinking about maybe making new upholstery, but as I look at the upholstery, and this is not the first time I've washed it. I've washed it, uh, I'd say about every five years, I, I really bring everything home and I wash it. Uh, but it's really in good condition. Uh, I know you have to be careful, so I'm not advocating just take your covers off your cushions and go wash them. You have to be careful. Um, so, sometimes you could shrink the material. I've had very good luck with this. Uh, the first time I did it, I used wool light, something uh, fairly mild, something that you would use for delicates. But I found that just regular detergent, not, obviously not bleach, nothing, no detergent with bleach in it, but just a, uh, a normal uh, clothing detergent works fine. I don't put them in the dryer. I just hang them up on a clothesline in my garage and let them naturally dry. So like I said, I've done it before. It's worked out really good. The, uh, the cushions are, again, kind of old, little stinky, I'm letting them air out. So I think it's, I think it's really time to redo the foam. Anyway, yeah, I'll show what I'm doing. Thanks a lot for watching. You have a great day. These are three examples of what I have on the boat. These are our backrests, and I need five of these. And these are the seat cushions. I need five of these. Uh, Except one one will be exactly like this with the corner lopped off the rest are all square corners And then I have one unique one like this This goes just right outside the door of the head and it does not have a seat back So that's why I basically have six total seats, but only five seat backs So I just ordered the material the foam material and uh, as soon as that arrives, I'll start cutting this out Okay, so here's the pattern of uh, what I'm going to do. I'm buying three sets of foam sheets, 24 inches wide by 84 inches long. So I need three of those. So I'll get three seat cushions out of this one. I'll get uh, two more seat cushions out of this one, which is the five. And then this piece here becomes one of the seat backs. And I get three seat backs out of this one. And then I had to buy one large, it's a California king size foam, which is 72 by 84 by 5 inches thick. I'll do my uh, last seat back out of this corner and also the uh, odd looking uh, seat uh, that's opposite the uh, head door. So these three pieces are going to cost me $210 total. And then, uh, ironically, this one great big California King is going to cost me another $210. So my total outlay for all this foam is going to be $420. Uh, currently, what I've been using with the old foam V-Birth, I've also put on top of that a 4-inch uh, memory foam mattress. Uh, I haven't bought that yet. I want to see how these feel with new cushion material I may not need a topper or or maybe I can get by with a, a you know maybe a two inch topper and save some money but the California King works really well this dimension from here to here of my current v-birth is exactly 84 inches and a California King which is why I got the California King square foot wise it's about the same as just a regular King but the dimensions are a little bit different and the California King mattress size uh, really fits the overall dimensions of the uh, of the v-birth the foam cushions have arrived 
Okay, the first thing I want to do is cut this in half. Uh, I'm going to work with the uh, V berth first. So I need to measure this to be exactly 42 inches to the center. I need to get it up off the floor so when I run the uh, reciprocating knife through it, I, I'm not hitting the floor. too terribly bad. It's fairly straight. You can see that this is uh, tapered right here. So I'm going to cut the larger dimension first uh, and then I'll mark the bottom and try to use the edge of the table here to get a fairly straight and beveled cut. That is zipper broke, so I'm tying it together every few inches. I just don't feel like ripping this thing out and redoing a zipper. But next time I go to wash it, which may be in a year or two years, I'll just put a new zipper in. If I had a new zipper, I'd put a new zipper in. But I don't have a new zipper. So this is going to take a while. Well, I got that sewed up. Felt like I was sewing up a turkey. Not that I really know what it feels like to sew up a turkey, but I think if I had sewn up a turkey, I think that's what it would be like.
Last one. Wow, that was a workout. As you can see, I tried different methods uh, to make it a little easier to get the uh, cushions inside the covers. Uh, the first time you saw, I just put this right over top of it after I used this Velcro to hold it tight. But I had a, <laughs> I had a, it came out in pieces, so that didn't work. So after that, I just took plastic, this bag, I mean, you could use any piece of plastic, and just draped it over. And once I got it in pretty far, I pulled that out and I undid the Velcro. And that seemed to be the best. The rest is just really working it to get it into the corners. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of like a memory foam, and it's very grippy. So it's, <laughs> if it was going into something that was vinyl or smooth, it would probably slide right in. But this is, even the material is kind of rough. In fact, it makes a good material for, for Velcro. So anyway, I hope you learned something. I did. And uh, this will look pretty good on the boat. It smells real good. It smells like fabric softener from when I uh, originally washed it. But anyway, you have a great day. And you also have a good winter. Uh, this may be the last DIY video until the spring. I pretty much i am caught up with all the boat projects. So there shouldn't be really much left to do and I can't think of anything so if you have any comments you want to see something that maybe I typically do eh, drop me a line and uh, I'll see what I can uh, put together anyway thanks for watching